Hold on, do we have <laughs> costumes anywhere? I didn't think about that. I can wear some I'm spooky. I'm sure there's some, yeah, there's something, I'm sure. Some sort of put witches. Some, like, or something on. Yeah. Ready for Halloween! <laughs> you know, I was gonna be the hot dog, but Jarrett felt very passionate. I about identify it. very much more as a hot dog than a donut, so. Hello, everyone, welcome back to Cheat Day! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Yes, what he said. Today we're gonna try a bunch of international Halloween candies. And yes, we are yes. aware that the Halloween is only really celebrated. Just well, like... it's Celtic in origin, I believe. Sam Hain. It's the night of year when the barrier between our world and the spirit realms is thinnest. Oh. And you know, that's transdimensional, so. Okay, well today we're just using it as an excuse to eat international candies. <laughs> What should we start with? Yes, dude! Just grab bag it, see what's up. Halva! Mini Halva. Eat Halva. Israeli. Yes, yes, so we have kosher vanilla, cocoa beans, and pistachio. Isn't Halva made from sesame predominantly? Sesame. Yes. Sesame paste and sugar. Well, happy Halloween. That's like Kit Kat. Uh, let's sort it, as you're supposed to do with Halloween candy. Oh yes, yeah, sorry. Just sorting. Sesame paste doesn't seem like a great base for know, candy. But Ooh. you don't like it? Alrighty. Well, just looking at it, that doesn't look mm. like candy. It looks like a weird marshmallow mm -hmm. almost. It's like peanut buttery. Ooh, sesame, so good. It, is, it describes it as dense, and I thought that was weird, but that is the only word I would use. It's thick with two C's, three it, C's maybe, maybe even. I'm not a huge fan. Mmm, I love it. it I think it's not as a kid. Peanut buttery. A lot of like non-American cultures, like kids are introduced to more complex flavors earlier. I think that's gotta make you literally smarter. Cause it's like your brain is processing more different things earlier in I life. Agree. Well, and know? I just, my mom only mm. would make me eat things that I wanted and now I literally don't like anything. So it would have been really helpful. This doesn't strike me as like candy. It definitely has like, it feels more substantial than candy. Oh yeah, like you can eat a lot of And it's not overly sweet. Things. Not sweet at all. This hot dog approves. Lightning bugs, gummy candy. Chinese this candy. Chinese candy. Because it really lights up. There's LED tongs that make them light oh. up when you grab them. So they're gummy, yeah. so it just makes it look like they're Cause yeah, I thought it was like literally. Same. Is it doing anything? It's just little... Oh, there's a little bit. We'll pick it up, see if it glows. Look at it glow. I think you have to fully encapsulate it like the image of the cartoon. Whoa. It does glow! It does glow! Get the thumbnail! Okay, well. Well, it's gotten much spoopier in here. It's good. It's very chewy. A little harder than your average. Oh, you know what? This is extra Halloween because of the Lost Boys. You know when he's eating, he thinks he's eating pasta and he's like, then why are you eating all those worms? <laughs> why don't you try some noodles? <laughs> the worms. Are all of these popular candy or are they kind of just like candy that happens to be from that place? Let us know in the comments below if these are popular. This if is you live cute, in China. I think. That one definitely feels the most disconnected culturally. Yeah, yeah. I don't think like, that that's This like... doesn't feel very like authentically Chinese, but um, it's cute. It's a popular Mexican candy. But this feels like a watermelon-esque packaging. And I like watermelon candy. Is it just sour or is it spicy? No, it's, it's, it's spicy. sweet, spicy, and sour all at the same time. That sounds like a lot for my tongue. Are these utensils that it comes with? Is oh, this? does it come with a sauce, dude? I'm psyched. Okay, I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. I don't wanna try the sauce, because I don't. this is gonna be spicy anyway. Is it good? It's good. It's salsa getty for sure. Is it gonna be spicy? There's a little bit of spice to it. It's not like that freaking chocolate, though. <laughs> <sighs> Gosh dang it. This is getty. Needs I more like salsa. the watermelon, but I don't like the spice. I'm like, Ooh. I want that to go away. That's legit just hot sauce. I mean, it looks like. It says it's candy, though. So, like. Sweet hot sauce. Oh no, I don't want that. Ooh! Oh, salsa candy! Yeah, I don't think I've ever had a candy where you open it and then there's something like, this is like a two step process. Not a convenient candy at no. all. No. Mm. Oh! What is that? What are you feeling? What's Ooh. happening? Ooh. Oh, it's so, it's weird because it's so sweet and sour and spicy. It's like, bow! It's very like- My body's like, ah, too many senses. Why pica? Picante. I mean, uh, I'm surprised I don't hate that more. Yeah, it's good. It was actually pretty good. I like the aftertaste. Salsa spaghetti is a huge win for me. We've got more. Why well, am not saying I need more? <laughs> they have these on the airplane and I was like- Ooh, Stroop waffle. What airplane is it United? Always ask for extra. Stroop waffles from the Netherlands. They're like these cookies. So yeah, this is not even candy, so this doesn't really fit in, but whatever. They're from the Netherlands, and they're like these caramely, sweet little cook. I would say they're kind of like cookies. 
They're like waffle cookies. Yeah. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, Ooh. yes, dude. Oh, that was nice. Look at that teamwork. Yes. Oh, I love it. Cheers. I love how it gets like hefty. Oh, guys, they're so good. I would venture to say like, if mm. this is considered a cookie, it's probably my favorite kind. Mm. Like uh, if you ever eat, like make waffles at home, and then you put oh, too much butter and syrup on it, and it gets soggy later. What? If you let that happen and then let it sit mm -hmm. and dry out again, mm -hmm. <laughs> it would turn into this. I think we should try that. Make our own stir waffles. Waffles. June 22nd, 2018, United Airlines stopped serving stir waffles. <laughs> and well, people are pissed! That is a real headline that I'm reading right now, and I'm like, what do you mean, United? That's very sad. Moving right along. Do we have to? <laughs> this is the original Nidar Smash. Hell yeah, dude. This is another thing that's not a candy, it's more of a snack, but whatever. Uh, smash or pass, am I right? <laughs> pass. Okay. No, smash. Smash, smash, pass. Pass them to me. Oh, uh, let's smash. read about these. I don't know. Smash, uh, Nidar Smash. It's Think really. crunchy bugles coated in milk chocolate and you basically have the Norwegian import bugles covered in milk chocolate? I'm okay with that. Here we go. I do like bugles. Um, I don't like chocolate that much. Are you gonna be okay? Excuse me, no. Stir I'm just like eating a lot of candy very yeah. fast. I don't love chocolate, but I don't mind it when it's like on top of things. So this is a perfect, like Kit Kats are probably not Sure, perfect. sure. Well, these are I'm good. a little upset good, though that weird. the chocolate like has crushed I, I them. So now we can't same. witch finger them. Yep. Ooh, this one I could. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I feel like Ooh. it's like I'm trying on engagement. This things. witch likes to party. <laughs> Ooh, ooh. You know what's weird? It's not as good as I expected it to be. I don't like it because it reminds me, um, I went to Beer Fest one time and they had a bunch of pretzels that were covered in chocolate. I don't, I can't do the salty and sweet. Ooh, you know what? I just got a good really one though. they're really salty. Ooh, they're growing on me. I don't know. It's confusing. It's so salty. It is very oh, salty, which God. I actually admire. I think it's bold of them. So then pass actually. Where are these from? The Netherlands. No, Norwegian. Norway. Norway. <laughs> they're from Norwegian. Guava. Mm -hmm. Guayabitas, uh, maybe? <laughs> Literally, it's gonna be like, guava bits? <laughs> I, that's probably what it means. Um, where are these from? Excuse me. It's Costa Rica. So, why are so many salty things? It's Chocolate's great. filled with guava jelly. Yeah. Oh no, it's just a guava jelly. It's not that much taste. Yeah, like my body's like trying to figure out what it is. And guava tastes to me like if a strawberry could bleed. That's a little dark, but I was gonna say, it's like a strawberry, like a diet strawberry kind of. Yeah, but like a metallic like, aftertaste. Like blood. I mean, I don't know if I'd ever eat them again. So I'm neutral on guayabitas. I think they're pretty good. Overall, positive. I like it better than the salty ass bugles. Okay. Kinder oh, Joy! Aren't these in Europe usually? Those Where are, are they? Those are boys. <laughs> Kinder Joy is an Italian manufactured candy. So all of you have, most versions of this candy are illegal in the U.S. because of choking hazard. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Oh, uh, that, this is this not is a weird what's going version on? of it. You're like, what's in it? Kind of what like is you. going on? I I did not know that this is what this was. This is very is this weird. Like a, oh, I like see. A, it's like they put. Oh, what the is it like hell, a hell is going on? <laughs> I do love pudding. What's going on? Oh my is God! It the same this thing is on both so no, weird. I thought it was gonna be a chocolate Dude. egg with stuff inside. Like that's what I thought. Which did you ever have the Nestle ones that you would have to? What were those called? Wonder Balls. Nestle Wonder Ball. It's candy and chocolate and a prize in a box. Ooh, it's kind of it's harder it's, than I would think. Mm. It's like a white chocolate Nutella. Mm. Oh my God. This is the best thing I've ever eaten. I already had one. <laughs> this is unreal. Oh my god, I literally have goosebumps. That is. <laughs> They're illegal? Like, is are we sure it's a choking hazard or are they just like hoarding them all for themselves? Not really this illegal. is not illegal. This is not illegal. They're not illegal? The original one. Yeah. For American I feel like this is what people think when they like eat in and out for the first time. <laughs> Kit Kats! From Japan? Yeah, Japanese Kit Kats. Was obviously something that you don't want a lot of. It doesn't seem like that's right. something you would put as a main ingredient in candy. I'm dubious about it as a sweet thing. Cause it'd be like making horseradish sweet. Horseradish like gets in your, it's like mustard. Well, and you did um, recently, during our 24 hour challenge, experience um, the hot chocolate Oof, challenge. That was not fun. It's very hot. Are you okay? Say how many hot ones. <laughs>
It is weird because it's not that spicy. It just tastes very wasabi. Yeah, it's like not that fun. No, well that's what I was saying. Like this isn't like, you know what would make this chocolate great? <laughs> no, no one would ever answer with wasabi and think that that was a real answer. I don't know. Wasabi seems like one of those things to me that some people just it probably clicks with them and they're just like the wasabi like, everything. Like lighter fluid. Lighter fluid. Interesting. If you're like, oh, I just love wasabi. I don't. Think I highly recommend this. Or I recommend eating wasabi, not tainting chocolate with it. Green if it tea? melts in your hands, then you just have like green, weird, slimy thing. It's very Halloween-y. It's like zombie chocolate. Hmm. Yeah, it is. Cheers. Green tea? Happy Halloween. I'm so torn on green tea stuff. I'm so confused. It tastes so grassy, you know? It reminds me of Reptar bars. Wow. Hard favorite, Kinder Joy. Agree. I think that's like, I just got introduced to my it's new favorite It's unbelievable. Candy. Those Italians. And it's got a German name, Kinder, which means children. children, of course. I know that because my mom speaks German, and when she <laughs> wanted all the children to get out of the house to get in the car, she'd go, I'm a Kinder house! When we were kids, and it was very scary. <laughs> it was just scary when you just did it. I started sweating a little bit. Okay, well, I think that's it for International Halloween Candies. And by that, we mean not really all candies, and also we understand that Halloween is pretty much only. But it is the time of year where across the world, Ghosts come out to play. Stay safe. If you want to try any of these, we have them all linked in the uh, Amazon store in the description. And Trick or treat. Smell my feet. I highly recommend the stroop waffles. Give me something good to eat. And if you don't, I don't, I don't know, care. Just please subscribe. I'll pull down your <laughs> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Guys, you've made it through yet another Clever Style video. Congratulations to you, and also thank you. But if you want even more, click somewhere over here, because there's another video waiting for you that is probably really good. It is really good, I'm not saying probably. Anyway, then subscribe, because that would be nice and we would really appreciate it. And also, subscribe, but then also hit the bell. I know it's a lot, but like, you love us, right? Please just click it.